The flourishing interest in electric vehicles has caused an exponential rise in the demand for vital battery components like cobalt. This upsurge has ignited a pursuit amongst automobile manufacturers and battery producers to unearth alternatives to the dominant players in the battery world, namely nickel cobalt aluminium, nickel cobalt manganese, and lithium ion phosphate batteries. In this hunt for something cheaper, the primary criteria are being lighter, cheaper, more efficient, and better performing. This quest is further fueled by the fact that these power units are the costliest components of any electric vehicle. But fear not, because a breakthrough appears to have arrived in the form of a sodium battery. Imagine a battery that provides more power while being cost-effective, lighter, and highly efficient. Sounds fantastical, right? This is exactly what the world's two largest battery manufacturers, CATL and BYD, have recently unveiled a sodium battery marvel. This could potentially be a pivotal moment in the history of electric vehicles. However, a question arises. What distinguishes this sodium battery from its counterparts? When can we expect to witness this sodium-powered revolution in action on our streets? Let us embark on a journey into the realm of the Chinese sodium ion battery to find answers to these questions. Sodium, a common element found globally as part of table salt, can be easily extracted. Unlike lithium, it doesn't necessitate strenuous mining processes. Sodium ion batteries capitalize on this abundance by utilizing cheaper raw materials, making them an enticing alternative for electric vehicle manufacturers and battery enthusiasts alike. Economically, sodium is a lucrative choice, costing a mere 1 to 3% of lithium's price. Its chemical similarity to lithium bestows it an additional advantage in the battery competition. In recent years, sodium ion batteries have transformed from mere prototypes to genuine contenders. Now, these batteries can be recharged daily for years, which means they're starting to rival one of the key benefits of lithium batteries, long life. There's more good news for electric vehicle users. Range anxiety is becoming a thing of the past as the energy capacity of sodium batteries has also witnessed a considerable boost. The research on sodium batteries dates back to the 1970s, initiated by none other than the United States. The progress made by the US, however, was eclipsed by the significant advancements made by Japanese researchers approximately a dozen years ago, catapulting sodium batteries closer to prominence. At this juncture, our narrative takes a surprising turn. Chinese companies have surged ahead in commercializing this technology with no signs of slowing down. Out of the whopping 20 sodium battery factories planned or already in operation globally, an astonishing 16 are situated in China. In a span of just two years, China is predicted to own nearly 95% of the world's sodium battery production capacity. There's another perk associated with sodium ion batteries, their ease of recycling. They don't necessitate elusive rare earth elements that are linked with lithium. Furthermore, sodium batteries maintain almost all their charge even when temperatures drop below freezing, whereas lithium batteries tend to lose their charge once the weather gets frigid. Lithium and rare earth elements have been plagued by shortages and wild price surges. In contrast, sodium hydroxide, a key component of sodium ion batteries, remains significantly cheaper. Lithium hydroxide has seen its price surge over 1,000% in just two years, while sodium hydroxide still lingers at a fraction of the cost. Economically, sodium is a clear winner. However, performance is equally important. Lithium ion batteries, known for their high energy density and power, have been the preferred choice for performance oriented and long range Tesla models. But there's a caveat. Lithium ion batteries have a notorious safety issue known as thermal runaway which can cause electric vehicles to catch fire or, in extreme cases, explode. Sodium ion batteries, on the other hand, are free from this issue. Now, let's see who is leading the race in the development of sodium ion batteries. It's not surprising that China is at the helm. CATL and BYD, two Chinese companies, have been laboring intensively to introduce sodium ion batteries to the masses. CATL revealed that these batteries boast an impressive energy density of 160 kilowatt hours per kilogram, slightly lower than another battery type called LFP. An examination of patents for sodium ion batteries shows China ahead with Japan and the US trailing. Chinese companies are also preparing for mass production of sodium ion batteries this year. They're not wasting any time. The US and Japan, while recognizing the need for more sustainable options in their decarbonization efforts, are still playing catch up with China. 
According to Nikkei, the business publication, there were a staggering 9,862 patents in force as of December, marking an astounding 12-fold increase over the past decade. China holds a remarkable 5,486 patents, accounting for more than 50% of the total. Japan, which was the frontrunner until 2015, now trails with 1,192 patents, followed by the US with 719, South Korea with 595, and France with 128. Sodium ion batteries are game changers. Their affordability makes them more accessible, they perform exceptionally well in low temperatures, and they come with enhanced safety features. CATL, the genius behind these batteries, has grand plans. They're gearing up to introduce sodium ion batteries with an energy density exceeding an astounding 200 watt hours per kilogram. These cutting edge batteries are set to hit mass production by 2023. The first generation of CATL's sodium ion cells already boasts an affordable cost, priced at just $77 per kilowatt hour. The second generation, set to enter volume production, will bring that cost down even further to a staggering $40 per kilowatt hour. Chinese battery executives have revealed that they've cracked the code for making sodium battery cells similar to lithium ones. They've developed a technique to use both sodium and lithium cells in a single electric vehicle's battery pack. This means the vehicle benefits from the cost effectiveness and weather resistance of sodium cells, along with the extended range of lithium cells. In 2021, experts were skeptical about the potential of sodium ion batteries, relegating them to specific applications like energy storage. Even CATL, the Chinese battery manufacturer, was unsure about them. Some suspected that CATL's venture into sodium ion batteries was a strategic move to pressure lithium suppliers into reducing their prices. However, the landscape shifted dramatically in 2022. As the development of sodium ion batteries gained momentum and lithium prices skyrocketed, it became evident that sodium ion batteries had the potential to be serious contenders in the electric vehicle game. In November 2022, CATL made a pivotal announcement. Their sodium ion batteries were ready to power the electric vehicles of the future. Not to be left behind, BYD, another key player in the electric vehicle space, announced plans to kick off mass production in 2023 and introduced a compact electric hatchback running on sodium ion battery power. At the recent Shanghai Auto Show, CATL proclaimed that their sodium ion batteries would be used in the Cherry iCar, set to hit the market by the end of the year. Likewise, BYD is proceeding with their sodium ion batteries, set to enter mass production in the second half of the year, starting with their majestic Seagull model. BYD showcased the Seagull at the Shanghai Auto Show. The car comes in three different versions, each with a price tag ranging from 11,450 to 14,000. The current models are powered by LFP batteries, but the new versions will feature BYD's innovative blade batteries. These blade batteries boast capacities of 30.08 kilowatt hours and 38.88 kilowatt hours. The new models will be powered by none other than sodium ion batteries. Sodium ion batteries bring some serious benefits to the table. First and foremost, they're safe, which is a huge plus. They're also cost effective. However, they do have their limitations. When it comes to energy density, they're not quite on par with their lithium ion counterparts. Therefore, to match the energy capacity of lithium ion batteries, we'll need more sodium ion batteries. Despite these limitations, sodium ion batteries remain an exciting development in the evolution of electric vehicle technology, promising a safer, cheaper, and more sustainable future for electric mobility.